Bronn is in the middle of a foursome with three prostitutes, telling the girls about the time he shot down Drogon, but is suddenly interrupted by Kyburn. After briefly unsettling Bronn by informing him one of his female companions will be dead of pox within the year, Kyburn explains that Cersei wishes to hire Bronn and is willing to grant him the castle, lordship, and highborn bride Jaime and Tyrion both promised him, noting that the original deal involving his marriage to Lolly Stokeworth was scrapped by Jaime, not Cersei when Bronn protests, as well as offering an advance payment in the form of a wagon full of gold for his service. Bronn initially refuses, guessing that Cersei wants him as an assassin to kill Daenerys, but Kyburn instead tells him he is being hired to assassinate Jaime and Tyrion, despite Bronn's previous service to both, for their betrayal of Cersei in the event they survive the undead invasion of the North. Kyburn presents him with Joffrey's crossbow for the task, leaving him speechless, though he is clearly given pause when Kyburn reminds Bronn Cersei doesn't skimp in rewarding loyal service. Following the Battle of Winterfell, Bronn arrives in the North and confronts Tyrion and Jaime in a tavern in the Winter Town. After punching Tyrion in the face for talking and preventing Jaime from intervening, he informs the brothers that Cersei has promised him River Run in exchange for killing them both. Jaime questions his trust in Cersei, and while Bronn doesn't doubt that Daenerys will win the war, he also knows that Cersei won't be able to pay him if she dies first. Tyrion then reminds Bronn of their business arrangement years earlier and promises to give him Highgarden after Daenerys defeats Cersei. Jaime refuses to do so, claiming the castle will never belong to a cutthroat, until Bronn nearly shoots him in the head with Joffrey's crossbow reminding him that all the great houses were founded by such people. Once Tyrion assures him he'll receive his payment, Bronn agrees to the deal and leaves, promising to return when the war ends and warning them not to die along the way. After Bran Stark is elected the new king and Tyrion his hand, Bronn is made the Lord of Highgarden, thus fulfilling his long-cherished desire of owning a castle. Bronn was also made Lord Paramount of the Reach, and is also elected into the position of Master of Coin. At the first meeting of the small council, he expressed dismay at doling out funds for the reconstruction of the royal fleet if it can't be assured they will be utilized properly. He also suggests that they should rebuild the destroyed brothels of the city, to which everyone reacts with disapproval, 